In today's video, I will show you how to add jQuery data tables in your website and how to add export CSV button to export complete data of this table and many more about search and the show column. And I will put this code in the description so you can easily copy paste your code. And video is going to more interesting and before start I request you to subscribe my youtube channel for more amazing videos. So let's dive into. First of all, I have done almost all code to save the time. And now I will explain you all code. First of all, I have created a table and I have put the table ID here, fine gap table. And this is the head tag with the four table head columns. And this is the body of the table with all data I have already put there. And in the below, I just close the body tag. So this is the table structure. Now I will show you how to add data table libraries. So in the head section, I have already enqueued all the jQuery and CSS files. And first of all, I have added the data table min.css file for the styling of the table. And then I have enqueued the jQuery file. And after that, again, we have to put the data table min.js file. So these three files, we are required to use it to run the data table. And then we have added the data table button.js file and their button.html5 min.js file. I will show you in the video why I add this file. And then I have added the jQuery to run the jQuery data table. So here I have to mention the data table ID which I have put there. This is the necessity step for the table. And then I have run the data table function here. But our code could be like this. And to add the export button I have added this code. And this is the scroll x effect on the table and this is a dom of the jQuery data table to run the export button. So here you can see length menu 10, 25, 50, 75 and 100. So as you can see the same 10, 25, 50, 100. So that's why I add it here and then the button with the text export CSV and then the extend with the CSV. So here you can see the text export CSV. So if I click on this button it will download the CSV. So this is the complete data of the CSV as you can see. And this is very interesting button to run on the data table. And if I click on the second or maybe next, then it will move to the next page. And after that, I have added some CSS. So you can see the CSS here, body with the background and the table style here. And then I have added the background color with the event TD. So you can see this is the background. It will add on all event TD tags. And here I have added some other CSS like button style, background and color, heading color. This is the minor CSS you can add yourself easily and according to your requirement. So here we have the search functionality which is perfectly working. And here you can increase the limit by this way. So now it is showing 50 records in per page. And here it is showing total records so this is the jQuery data tables this is the official website of these data tables you can apply other styles like this one and other things here you can download it and here it has many other things you can see there so these data tables you can add in your website in html in php and many other languages and if you find this video useful don't forget to like subscribe and share finally thanks for watching